Well, it's funny, just a few days ago, a couple of friends were talking about their show holes, kind of at a point in the year, waiting for a new season to start, looking for something to watch right now. Here's a recommendation, a movie called Brimstone. With us now, Emmy-winning actor Guy Pierce. Good morning, Guy. Good morning, how are you? Hey, we're doing great. I'm really excited to visit with you. A lot of our uh, crew members here are big fans of yours, so they were pumped to know you were coming on the show today. Uh, oh, thank you. So, so Brimstone, it's described as a Western thriller. Set it up for us. Well, it, it follows the story of this young girl who Dakota Fanning plays, who really is under the, 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 uh, the horrendous sort of power of this reverend, uh, who, who she's just trying to escape from. Uh, they're a Dutch immigrant family who have moved to America in the 1800s, and, and uh, he's, he's, he's a character who is so caught up in his religious beliefs that he's able to justify any horrendous behavior uh, through his uh, sort of religious fervor. And, you know, we just get a, a, a real sense of how extreme he is, but, but also it's about the, the, the sort of the, the, the positive journey that she creates for herself out of this. If I, if I look back at your career, I sort of feel like maybe you were, you were breaking through in the 90s, <laughs> mid 90s. So you've, you've been around a little bit now, Guy, uh, starring in Iron Man 3, The King's Speech, LA Confidential. B but what was it about Brimstone that drew you in? Well, the writing was really clever and the way the film is actually structured, it's a little bit out of order. And so you, you, mm. you, you're made to look uh, ahead at a story and then look back at it and see where, where things began. And so there was something about that that I found appealing and obviously the way the character is is written he's he's very extreme as I say and mm -hmm. um, when you play any character that's so caught up in their own beliefs that they that, that, that they don't sort of see what's going on around them it, it's a fascinating thing to play mm -hmm. um, and, and Martin Kulhoven is a really interesting filmmaker so I was I was quite keen to work with him too. Does that affect you at all I mean after after you're done shooting and you go throughout your day uh, when you're you're not in character anymore do you think through that lens still about your own actions your own thoughts and words no i i'm really able these days to to let go of what i'm doing i mean I, you know obviously i was wearing a pretty specific beard in that movie so <laughs> of course i might go into a store and see myself in the mirror and go oh that's right i've got this beard right. uh, so you know you do carry a few of the physical traits around even, even if even if you've managed to put that's the personality down so funny. like who is that guy following me uh, but what about music yeah. right now now guy right, i know guy? music is a, an important part of your life are you able to do much with that do you have time right now yeah, I'm just finishing off. Well, a record of a new record of mine is being mixed in LA at the moment by my friend Joe Henry, who's producing it, and Ryan Freeland. So they're finishing that off. It feels a little weird that I'm not there with them while that's happening. But so we've just finished uh, some new recording, and hopefully that'll come out uh, in the next few months. So what's left? What would you still like to do on that professional wish list? Well, I just want to keep working in the way that I do. I mean, the thing that I really enjoy about my work, I suppose, is is that I'm, I like to be surprised by what the universe brings, you know, by what scripts I come across. And, and there are so many different characters out there in the world and there are so many different stories to, to tell that I, I, don't, I don't specifically feel like I'm, I'm looking for anything in particular. Uh, so I, I'm always happy to be surprised. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the other thing going on in my life now is that I, I have a six-month-old baby. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I'm focusing on him as well and trying not to work too much. But, um, you know, you've got to pay the bills as well. No, no kidding. And, and to be present and to, you know, I mean, that's the other part about it, right? That's life. Yeah. Um, yeah. Brimstone yeah. is available in select theaters and on demand starting today. And a lot of buzz around Dakota and her performance and, of course, having you featured as well. Uh, people just really excited to get a look at it. Guy Pierce, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Mike.